let's go. Yeah. Yeah, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have not so I don't know how to do that. This is the Morning Swim Show for Thursday, April 7th, 2011. I'm your host, Peter Bush. All this week in the Phoenix Monitor, I've been talking to U.S. Paralympic swimmers who are competing in the upcoming Can-Am meet. It's a big selection meet for the international competitions this year. Today we're talking to Rudy Garcia. It's his second time on the show. Rudy joins us right now in the Phoenix Monitor from Colorado Springs. Rudy, welcome back to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me back. Last time we had you on, you had just completed an Ironman triathlon, which was astounding in itself. Uh, and, he, and I understand now you're going for the Kona triathlon? Kona uh, yes, Iron sir. Man? Yes, sir. Uh, this year, my, my main focus is, uh, of course, trying to swim fast uh, next week. And uh, I also want to go do another Ironman. And, uh, I'm actually looking towards uh, Ironman Arizona this year. I don't think Kona is, uh, is going to be a go to this year, but we'll see what happens. All right, so back to Arizona. We always will, you know, enjoy having you here. What, uh, what was it about the Ironman that just, that just did it for you? Uh, well, if you ask anyone what the Ironman is, usually they tell you, you know, it's a 140-mile race. And they all, they're also tell you that it's uh, for crazy people. Uh, just just being out there for 16, 17 hours is uh, unheard of, and and so I uh, mean I I love challenges, and so when I when I heard about the Ironman when I was young, you know it was something that I, I always wanted to do, and I got my first my first chance to do an Ironman in 2009, and I, I ended up uh, not making it. I ended up uh, kind of failing, but uh, a month later I I, I finished one, and uh, I love Ironman because it's just you. It's just you. You're out there, and uh, it's it's uh, it's mind over body. So it's uh, it's a, it's an awesome experience. Was there a point when you thought about stopping? When the of course when the body was starting to beat the mind. <laughs> There's many points where I felt like stopping. Uh, I think the last uh, five miles, uh, last four miles of that race, uh, my body was was completely shut down. And uh, I really had to dig deep to, to make it to that finish line. But uh, I'll tell you what, when you cross that finish line and you hear the words, you are an Iron Man, it's, it's like no other experience. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Well, uh, the, you only get to swim this week at the Can-Am meet. What are you going to be swimming? Uh, I think I'm doing all the hundreds, uh, two IM and the 400 free. So it should be a, a pretty, uh, pretty good meet. It should be pretty packed. Jeez, no kidding. That's a yeah. lot of events, my man. Well, I'm an IR, so I gotta do it all, right? Yeah, I know. Actually, what am I talking about? That's nothing compared to what you've been doing. Right. <laughs> Why don't you throw in a mile and a 400 IM while you're at it? <laughs> Actually, I think I am doing the 400 IM, so we're in good business. Um, what is, do you, you train there. I mean, what is it about the experience of being there at the Olympic training, training Center that makes you want to stay and not you know, go train somewhere else. You know, every morning I wake up and, uh, and you know, I, I get to see Pike speak and I get to come uh, to the pool and I get to be with uh, some of the best athletes in the world. Uh, all, every, everyone on, on the team is very motivated to, uh, to go for their, their, everyone knows why they're here. You know, we, we all got goals. You know, of course, next year is the big year in London. Uh, but. You know, just, just, just being part of the team and, and, uh, and you know, just uh, training with Davo every day, it's, it's, it's like no other. You know, I, I've trained in many places uh, around the United States, but, and I can honestly say this is the best place uh, uh, for me to, to really exceed and, and, and shoot for my goals. Just uh, the, the type of things they offer here, you know, the cafeteria is awesome, the recovery center, I got sports med, uh, you know, we got uh, weight training uh, coaches. And so uh, this place is basically everything you need to get to the next level. And, uh, and I, I'm very grateful. I, I want to thank Paralympics for, for allowing me to be here. And, uh, you know, it's just, just an awesome time. Awesome time. Well, uh, you know your way around that place. You're a veteran around there. There's going to be a new guy on campus, Frank Bush, here in a few weeks. Look out for him, will you? You know, t I go, go easy on my dad up there. No, uh, no hazing or anything. I will we'll, we'll be nice. You know, I also want to add another another cool thing about being out here is, uh, you know, every every week or every two weeks or so, we get a new swim team in, and uh, and you know, the, the, just just to see and, and be able to swim at the same time as you know Michael Phelps and uh, 
a bunch of other big name um, swimmers. You know, it, it's awesome. Just last week we had Mark Angloff in here training with us, which was an awesome experience. Uh, you know, I, I love breaststroke, and, and he's he's the best there is. So you know, being able to swim with him and, and being able to talk to him uh, throughout the day is uh, is like no other. That's pretty cool. Well, Rudy, best of luck to you at the meet. Thank you. I want to give a shout out to uh, to, to Mr. Jimmy. Uh, you know, one of the coolest guys I've known, and of course to my mom and uh, and everyone out there. You can follow me on Twitter, Rudy GT at uh, C A F. Wait, who's Mr. Jimmy? Jimmy Flowers. He was our he was our uh, coach, uh, and uh, he ended up passing away uh, in 2009. Uh, and also, of course, a big shout out to his family, Sue and the kids, uh, Sam and Lauren. All right, Rudy, you got it. All right, thanks again, buddy. Thank you. All right, that's Rudy Garcia joining us from Colorado Springs. That's it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.